Great music is passed from one generation to another. Listening to this music reminds us that we need to make sure that our children can experience the joys of music making and music listening. The National String Project Consortium is working to increase the number of children playing stringed instruments and to help ensure that there are the teachers to teach them. The pictures you are seeing are from children and teachers in string projects around the country. Unfortunately, we are facing a crisis in our desire to pass on our musical heritage to the next generation. The sad truth is that our audiences are declining and many children will not have the opportunity to learn to play a string instrument or experience the joys of music. In fact, only 16% of school districts in the United States even have string and orchestra programs. There is a severe shortage of string teachers for the public schools in the U.S. There just aren't enough teachers to fill the jobs even in the 16% of schools that have programs. In the year 2000, 24% of string jobs were not filled. In 2001, this had increased to 43%. And in 2002, 47% of schools had string positions open due to a shortage of string teachers. According to a recent study, states such as Arizona, Texas, and Virginia could not fill the positions they had opened this past year by the first day of school. The population of string teachers is aging, and the number of new string education graduates does not meet current demands. And another study reported that an increase in the supply of highly qualified string teachers would enable string programs to be created in more school districts. The National String Project Consortium is addressing the shortage of qualified string teachers with a program that has begun to establish model teacher training programs at colleges and universities throughout the country. These string projects are providing the opportunity for children to study string instruments, helping to alleviate the string teacher shortage, encouraging string players to become string teachers, stimulating the growth of new public school orchestra programs, providing financial incentives by offering work assistantships to undergraduate string education majors, and offering supervised teaching experience for college students. If our goal is to increase the number of children who have access to playing a string instrument, then we need to make sure that there are the teachers who know how to teach them. You can't learn to play the violin from reading books or going online. In other words, if there were more teachers, then there would be more students. If there are more students, then there'll be more music makers, music appreciators, music supporters, and people attending concerts. For every teacher that is being trained to teach, there will be thousands of new music makers over the lifetime of the teacher. It is an investment that will pay back very high dividends. On the other hand, for every school program that fails to find a good teacher, there are far fewer children who will be playing an instrument. Since its start, the NSPC has been responsible for the stringed instrument education of well over 7,000 children of public school age in 25 sites around the United States. The NSPC's teacher training program has reached over 400 string music education students in the sponsoring colleges and universities and assisted with the education of over 200 new public school teachers in the past five years. When the model for this program was started in 1974, there were virtually no string programs in the schools in Columbia, South Carolina, and very few string students in a city with no history of string playing. Now there are 3,816 students currently studying string instruments in the five school districts in Columbia. That means an economic impact of over $1.2 million in instrumental rentals alone in Columbia. This is a direct result of the USC String Project which gave birth to these programs and trained most of the teachers. The undergraduates who teach in the String Project are attracted to the profession and receive hands-on experience in teaching during their college years. This means that they come out of the program as experienced teachers ready to teach in the schools. 81% of the String Projects in the NSBC report that their String Project helped to increase the number of music education majors at their school. There are now 25 operating string project sites in the NSPC. These 25 universities are training 232 teachers who are currently undergraduates, serving 2,094 young students. As you can see, the numbers have grown exponentially since the founding of the NSPC in 1999. The startup and incubation of these programs has been possible through the generosity and assistance of foundations and corporations. Each string project requires $13,500 for the startup of the first year to be matched by the universities themselves. This includes an evaluation of the program after a year. These programs then grow over the first five years to become self-sufficient based on the number of children and the experience of the model program. 
A recent survey of the USC String Project showed that 25% of students in the program are below the poverty line. 23% have female heads of households and 49% are non-Caucasian, with 36% African American. This is changing the nature of who plays a string instrument in this community. Our ultimate goal is for every state to have at least one such program to educate teachers, and that fully staffed string programs will exist in all public schools. This approach is innovative and represents out-of-the-box thinking. The NSPC has already received national attention with grants from major foundations and coverage in the major media. According to an article on the program in an important professional journal, the String Project appears to have filled a void where school strings programs do not exist. Perhaps this model could be used in other settings and could be a useful protocol for teacher training in band, choral, and general music settings. A national initiative is needed to create a network of these string projects throughout the United States. This vision is doable and would have a major impact on the shortage of string teachers and the national problem of children having no access to music programs. We hope that you will be part of this vision and a partner in this effort.